Steve Adams, six, Jake Ash, the captain. Thank you. 
Mikey, a famous victory. Famous victory, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's probably uh, not as famous as the way they beat us last season, but um, no, we're absolutely delighted. We, obviously, there was always that. It's nice to lay the ghost from, from the 6-0 defeat last year. Um, and yeah, I thought the boys put in an excellent performance right from the, the starting 11 and the three players that came on. And to come back from behind early on too, yeah, um, I think we've 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 always had a, a good attitude when we when we have gone behind. It was a bit of a freak goal, the, the free kick sort of deflecting off Ben Arasby and wrong footing Connor. So it's one of them. It's something we talk about with the players. We don't sort of hide away from the fact that that can happen in a game. We always say to them, how are we going to react if we do concede a goal early on? What are we going to do? Are we going to go into our shells or are we going to get bang at it? And obviously, you know, they showed that tonight that we responded in the right way, go up and get the penalty, and then. Um, Great, another great strike from Ben Adelsby. The penalty itself, um, quite surprised that um, Trevor kept 11 on the pitch. That was a goal scoring opportunity, wasn't it? Yeah, it probably was. I mean, I don't know. Fitch, I think Fitch had his back to goal. Um, so it's, it's one of them. It could go either way. But I, 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 I'd have been disappointed if it would have been our player and he'd have got sent off, to be honest. So no, I'm not too, not too begrudging that. We found a penalty taker, though, haven't we? We have found a penalty taker, yeah. Really. Um, Reedy has hit the back of the net well tonight and hopefully he'll continue to do that for the rest of the season. And uh, then to go 2 well up, uh, Ben Edel's really special. You can't say anything other than that. Can you? No, he's got it in his locker, hasn't he? And it's, um, it's great when he does it and hopefully he can do it a few more times this season. You know, obviously the, the, the one last year in the playoff final was probably the most crucial goal he scored for us. But again, tonight could be a, could be a very crucial one come the end of the season. And without wishing to take anything away from Salisbury tonight, the second half mm -hmm. was a little bit different. Uh, did you change the tactics and try and keep what you had, or because it was a lot of possession to Truro? No, I think what happened was Truro Truro changed their tactics, um, and they they pushed men forward as you, as you do when you you know when you need to get back into the game. Uh, we made a change probably 15, 20 minutes into the second half just to combat that. And um, we, we held on. So you, it's always going to be difficult because teams have got nothing, you know, when they're 2-1 down, they've got nothing to lose. They throw men forward, d deliver balls into your box. It's always going to be difficult, especially on a skiddy surface like tonight. Anything can happen, but the boys are putting a hell of a shift right from, like I said, the 11 that started the game and the three that came on. So we're, we're absolutely delighted, Alec. And for all that possession, they only have one chance, second half. Yeah. Which we equaled with Charlie having a two thrashes at the same, same effort. Yeah, I mean, we, we could have scored a couple on the break, I think. We, you know, we're unfortunate going into, um, obviously, with Charlie's chance. I think we had a couple of others. So, yeah, it could have been, it could have been more comfortable than the scoreline suggested. But just, I think we just put in an excellent, excellent shift. And take nothing away from Truro either, because they're a decent side. They will be, you know, they'll be a handful this season. They've got good players. They've got a good management team. And I've, I have no doubt that they'll be, um, they'll be quite successful this season chance for a little boast for me because on the Salisbury Forum yep. I said a little while ago that I wasn't too happy with uh, some of the performances it needed a Truro or a Dover well we had a Truro tonight didn't we we had a Truro yeah no I think I think we were, we were value for the win tonight I think we really were I think I think the boys deserved it what we've said what we said before the game tonight for the last for the first three games we've seen a great work rate a great desire to win and and our qualities let us down which is for us for myself and Darrow is really difficult to believe because we see the quality Monday to Friday day in day out and we've just struggled to take that into the game I thought there's still more to come from us I definitely think there's more to come it was no by no means a perfect performance tonight but it was a great building building block and and if we can just increase that quality each game every time we we turn up then you know hopefully we'll win more games that kind of game can set you up can't it and uh, We've got to be set up now for Saturday, Western Super Bowl. Um, I don't know how yeah. you see that game. They've had a sort of variable start to the season, haven't they? Yeah, no, I think um, Western Super Mayor are generally very well organised. I know their assistant manager, John, um, he likes to play football. They like to play, you know, through the midfield and, and get at you. So I think it'll be an entertaining game. Um, they had a good result the other night. I don't know how they've got on tonight, but um, they had a good result Saturday. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be going there and under no illusions, it's going to be a very, very difficult game. And if the word revenge came into it tonight at all, it'll come into it for them because we had a good cup result against them last season up here. Yeah, we did. We, we beat them 1-0 here, which was obviously an excellent result for us. And that will probably be fresh in their memories and no doubt that will be a part of their team talk. But we've got to rise above that and um, concentrate on what we do and uh, try and go and get three points. 
and as for Saturday's game, we had Stuart Anderson coming off tonight, one or two knocks. Anything serious? Um, we'll have to assess them tomorrow, but yeah, Stewie's come off with a bit of a knock on his ribs. Um, Callum and Callum and Adam were, were both actually feeling sick at half time. <laughs> Callum actually was sick at half time, but he wanted to come back out and play the second half. I think that just epitomises the sort of the um, you know the, the squad's attitude to, to games and to football in general. You know they want they wanted to go out and put their bodies on the line. And um, Josh came came on and did fantastic. And then obviously we brought Claudio on, and uh, again I think he's been a real fine for us. Every time he's come on, he's looked dangerous. He's not only looked good going forward, but he's put a shift in defensively as well so um, yeah we're really pleased hopefully none, none of the um, knocks will be too serious but I haven't, I haven't really got anything to report at the moment yeah well best to enjoy tonight first isn't it I think so yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks very much Mikey thank you Alec cheers, cheers.